I had a question in the comment section on one of my previous videos asking how I built my tank and uh, I'll say I did not build it it was professionally built by a company called Tenacor I believe it was in 2006 or 7 um, that it was built I got it used so um, I bought it from a guy that um, he wasn't able to set it up so I, I got it on the classifieds but to build a tank this size is not something that most people would be able to accomplish uh, these large panels each the front and the back panel probably weigh around 300 pounds each um, the entire tank weighs like 1200 pounds so to be able to line up those seams um, glue it in place you need almost like a forklift or heavy machinery um, to get it moved into the place so yeah I didn't build it I had it uh, built or it was built uh, for the previous owner um, Tenacor went out of business I think it was like 2013 or 2014 I might be wrong about that they were based out of Arizona in the United States and uh, I heard that a couple of guys that were used to work for that company went off and started their own company. I think it's Tsunami or, or maybe it's Titan Aquatics. One of those two. Um, but Tenacor recently, they did just try to relaunch their business. So uh, I guess they are making tanks once again. But there are quite a few acrylic tank manufacturers. ATM, that's one of them. Um, I don't know if they're still in business either after their whole debacle with their show but uh, in terms of the cost reach out to any builder and get estimates um, I think for a tank this size these days it would probably run in the twelve to fourteen thousand dollar range I'm not 100% sure on that. It might be lower, it might be higher. Um, but the, the main reason it's so expensive is the taller you build the tank, or the taller you want the tank to be, the thicker the acrylic has to be. And this is one and a quarter inches thick. And thick acrylic is expensive it's pricey so um, to go from a tank that's 30 inches tall that has the same footprint say 10 by 3 feet and then 30 inches high versus these dimensions which is 10 by 3 by 4 feet high you're probably doubling the price um, if not going 250 or 300 percent more than what a 30 inch high tank would cost you. And that's just because of the pressure um, that the tank, that the height of all that water creates. And you can see there's a tiny little bow. It's actually not that small. Top to bottom. So my tank does bow a little bit. It's hard to capture on video, but it does. There's probably like a half inch gap on the top and the bottom of the tank if I were to put a straight edge onto it. So anyways, yeah, um, I didn't build it. I wouldn't want to try to build something this big. Smaller tanks. Pretty, pretty easy to do, but this would be no small feat.